All right, so I'm going to be doing a quick impressions video on Jimmy Choo Man Aqua. I know I'm behind on this. You know, it just, I got it from Joma Shop and they took forever to ship. Finally just got it in. They actually sent me two, which is kind of cool. Uh, this came in a separate box and the other one. I ordered this with another fragrance, which people were saying didn't exist. Uh, there was a good price on Versace Eros Parfum, 200 mil. It was like 67 or 70 bucks, something like that. People were like, oh, it doesn't exist. It's got to be the EDP. They messed up but it's clearly the parfum, um, so yeah, I don't know what to say about that, but anyway, uh, you know, again, I wanted to get to this earlier, it's kind of not the right season for it, but it took forever for them to ship, so I did spray this just to get the dry down, this is going to be kind of a quick first impressions, I just sprayed it uh, not that long ago, but this is a quad fragrance, obviously, it's called Jimmy Chimane Aqua, it's kind of unique because it's got cardamom in it, so the top's grapefruit and cardamom, it's got uh, C notes, it's got uh, moss and sage, you know, and I, there might be a, a couple other notes, but it's, it, you know, you see a lot of that in, you know, a lot of the aquatic fragrances. Now, I will say from spraying this, the C notes aren't mineralic, it does not smell like the actual C, it's more of that kind of aquatic smell that you get from something like Versace Manor Fresh. You know, where it's it's more of a, like almost like a clean pool water or something like that. Uh, that's what it smells like. It's not smell like the ocean, which you know it certainly makes it more mass appealing. I think probably for a lot of people, but less interesting for a lot of people in the fragrance community. And that's exactly what this is. It's a mass appealing fragrance. You can pick up on the grapefruit, but it is it's subtle. It is not anywhere like any like something like Tigar. It's it's not that in your face. It's very subtle. Uh, it's got a sweetness to it along the lines of something like Pacific Rock Moss. You can pick up on the, you know, the moss notes and the, the dry down. But they're, again, they're kind of light. It's it's a sweet, clean, clean water smell that you're really getting. Um, you know, again, like fresh water, clean fresh water essentially is kind of what it's giving off. It's like a pool vibe. It smells similar. What it kind of smells like to me is almost if you took uh, YSLY EDP you know, with that sage and um, took that and then kind of mixed it with Versace Mano Fresh. It's kind of what I get. So certainly mass peeling. Definitely smells like there's broxum in here. You can smell it popping off. Um, I, it's an EDT concentration. I'm sure the performance isn't great, but, you know, it's a Jimmy Choo Man. They're, they're never crazy expensive, and really that's kind of the entire line. They're, they're all, they smell good for what they are. They just don't really last, but I am going to test this out. I'll let you all know. Jimmy Choo Man Ice smells like Dior Eau Cologne. It's very cheap. Jimmy Choo Man Intense has like an Invictus Aqua kind of vibe. That's also really good. Jimmy Choo Man Blue almost smells like Blue de Chanel without the incense. It's lighter. It's not as uh, dark smelling. And, you know, now we have this, which to me smells like Versace Mano Fresh with kind of like a YSL Y DNA as well. It smells good. I'm sure it's going to be mass appealing. You don't have that apple note, you know, popping off like you do in the, the Y uh, line, but it smells good. I will say it, it doesn't seem to be, it definitely seems to be projecting. I don't think it's going to last as long as YSL EDP, but I will update you all. It's just kind of my first impressions. Again, it's very linear. doesn't change a whole lot in the dry down. Um, it's very inoffensive, mass appealing. You know, it, it's just a safe fragrance. It's not something you must have by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but it smells good, you know, for what it's worth. So I'll probably use it just for the gym, honestly. Now when it gets hot out again, I might use it more, but... For right now, I'm just probably just going to use this much in fragrance because, again, it smells fresh and clean. And it's got a nice sweetness to it, but it's not overbearing where I think it's going to do really well um, in the gym. So, anyway, let's quick review on that. I'll update you on performance and everything when I've had a chance to actually give a full airing.